What kind of skill sets does someone need to be successful in a role like yours? Um, well, one of the things that we like to talk about in our group is how we use all different sides of our brains. So, um, <clears throat> where at one day you're really focusing on brainstorming and coming up with really big ideas to help sell uh, client solutions in, other days you're really in tactical execution mode and you're really doing like detail type work. So, uh, one of the things that we would we would need from someone in our team is to be really kind of nimble and be able to kind of work both sides of their brain and really to like handle different tasks as they come up. The other thing is really being sales oriented, right? Client service oriented, because that's really what we do at the end of the day. We're selling ads to advertisers and we're then servicing those accounts. So you really need to kind of put your sales hat on and really understand the sales process and how, how to service the client. Now certainly you, uh, you didn't start at ESPN, you've had some other jobs that led you there. Could you tell us some of the roles, or maybe even one of the roles, that was yep. pivotal to getting you to where you are right now? Yep. Uh, I first started out working at a sports marketing agency that actually doesn't exist anymore. It's called National Media Group. Um, I worked there for about five years. I left uh, National Media Group and started working for Playboy Magazine. Uh, I worked there for about a year and a half, and then I transitioned from there into ESPN. I've been in ESPN for about six years. Uh, so working at National Media Group in the early stages of my career really kind of set a foundation for uh, understanding sports and understanding the sports industry. Uh, not just being a fan, but really understanding how things work from a business perspective. And uh, working for Playboy really helped me from a brand perspective and really kind of getting an uh, inside look at what uh, working for a really big brand feels like and how things work and how brands affect people. Uh, and also gave me a really good uh, insight into just media in general and how media is bought and sold. Uh, and then now obviously working for ESPN, I've had the good fortune of being in the same group since I've been at ESPN. So um, I kind of feel like I have a really good handle on the current work that I'm doing and, and kind of overseeing my team now as opposed to being one of those account managers.